morning. Good morning. Uh, Jack, why is something attached to the door? I'm not sure. Stay here. I'm gonna find out. Be careful, okay? I will. Ah, hello there. Who are you, and what are you doing on my property? Sir, calm down. We just want to do some tests. We'll leave as soon as we're done. If you want to speed up the process, you can help by participating. <sighs> Fine. What do I need to do? Oh, remove the box as quickly as you can. Press the red button when you're ready. I looked at the red button in front of me and pressed it, and then removed the boxes as quickly as I could. Then they wanted me to do my best to hide in this room, so I hid behind the chair. And they were impressed with my super sneaky hiding skills. Then the next task was to press the blue button in the most human way possible. And so I did, and they were shocked. Which made me a little suspicious about if they had alternative motives or not. But the next room was the last room. This time there was a PC. They wanted to ask me some questions about morality, stuff like that. Then out of the corner of my eye, I saw something turn to a cup. Then a shadowy creature pounced out of the cup and started attacking one of the scientists. And quite literally sucked the life out of it. I tried to escape, but the gas was too much and I fell unconscious on the floor. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I woke up in an apartment. Something was wrong about this place. I started throwing anything and everything at the windows, but it wasn't breaking. I had failed to see the break with wrench sign on the door. So I went and opened another door and was greeted by this backrooms looking hallway and walked down the barely lit hallway where I found a wrench and then I got a call. Hello, Chocolope. You don't know me, but I know you. My name is January and I'm here to help. Well met. Now. Do you care to explain what's going on here? I'll explain everything, but first... GET OUT OF THE APARTMENT! COME ON! I'M NOT PAYING RENT FOR THIS! Mm. And so without thinking, I rushed and broke the window. And it looks like I was in a secret facility, or maybe an underground base. I wandered around for a little bit. Then I found a spider thing from before, ran after it, and killed it. After walking for a little bit, I found the room where they want me to do some tests. What are these things? They're the Typhon. That one in particular is the Mimic. They can morb- I mean morph into pretty much anything. I found out the way they multiply is by sucking all the life out of people. After unlocking this door using a keycard, I learned there were different types of Typhon. This one was the Phantom. I'm gonna kill you. Then I found something called a Neuromod. You found a Neuromod? Good! Now shove it in your eye. What? Why? It won't hurt. It will give you powers. Uh, alright. Oh, you should probably turn it on first. After using the Neuromod, I went to the main lobby, where I found out that I wasn't in a secret facility or an underground base. I was in a space station. January told me to go to an office and set the coordinates for me. January gave me the code to the office and I went in. And I played a video meant for someone else. The guy had a plan to destroy these things, but the video cut out before he could say it. Sorry, but I can't let you see that. It's meant for someone else. Darn it, he cut the power. You're to go to Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware lab. You should be able to fix the screen from there. After fighting some mimics, I made my way to the hardware lab, where I saw this guy get sniped by a phantom, wandered 30 minutes not knowing where to go, then found a keycard on a corpse I had walked past like 8 times, then went through a vent and died around 900 times to these stupid drones, and then made a jetpack so I could fly in space and glide. After finding the keycard, I went into Dr. Calvino's workshop and fixed the power. Now I could hear the rest of that recording. On my way back, I saw these weird purple typhon and died trying to get to the office. Then found a different, less dangerous way to get there. Then saw the rest of the recording. His plan was to blow the entire station up. Then January showed himself. He was a drone like the other ones I had seen. Why am I the one getting into everyone's problems? You weren't supposed to. Morgan was supposed to be the one to come here, but he died a few days ago. So they sent out scientists to find people to experiment on. And the typhon came and ruined everything. So I scanned you moments before you woke up, and could see you think outside the box, and you survived hundreds of monsters and still held strong. You looked well suited to handle this, but it's your choice if you want to help. Not like you have much, but will you help us? Where to? The only way to explode the station is by getting two arming keys, one from Morgan, one from Alex. Alex had destroyed Morgan's arming key, but Morgan left a fabrication plan to remake it in deep storage. I was going to use the elevator until someone made it malfunction, now I need to find another way around. And I found myself going through the psychotronics. This is the place where the Typhon came from. I need to get out of here fast. I need to find a place called the Gut, which will take me to the top of the station. I needed a psychoscope to progress beyond this door. I found it. It allowed me to scan the Typhon and gain their abilities. As a celebration, I got drunk and beat up a phantom, and somehow won. <laughs> uh. 
After getting jump scared by this drone, I got a call from Alex, and he said, All right, I can't keep you put, rabbit. I'm gonna help you just this once. Scan the Typhon to open the door. Why does everyone keep calling me a rabbit? I'm a jackalope. After scanning all the Typhon I could, I went to the gut, but some scientists were running an experiment before they died, so I needed to finish their test to open the door. But a dead body was in there, and I had accidentally summoned something very powerful. I had summoned the Voltic Phantom, and noped out of there. After running through the fire and flames, I met someone locked up, freed them, then found out why they were locked up. After putting him to sleep for a very long time, I used some Neuromaws and gained the ability to shoot balls of energy, now to kill that Voltic Phantom. I had a plan to kill that thing. I placed a gunner turret the wrong way, then saw that I could break the pipes to burn him. I blasted him with kinetic energy, then beat him up with my wrench. I finally fixed the door, and now I was in guts. Now I had to deal with these little kamikaze type and who made this very annoying. After escaping, I reached the door, but it was locked. I needed to find a keycard, and so I went to the Magnet Sphere. And there was this big thing in there, and it looked like it could cook someone in literal seconds. Then I heard a playback tape, and someone named Anders had the keycard to where I needed to go. The only problem, he was cooked in the big thing. According to my calculations, you have around 30 seconds to find a keycard before you turn into a Cide de la Pin. So good luck. Found it. I found this stuff called Coral, then saw a Typhon that looked dangerous. More dangerous than anything I had seen so far. And then found myself in the Arboretum. It was this big, beautiful garden, lush, and filled with dead people. And then I found another person who was alive. For around 10 seconds before he was corrupted by a new Typhon called the Telepath. After successfully performing the Gritty, I wandered around for a little bit, then saw the Telepath free and eating the floor. This floor is delicious! I went down to deep stores, but the door was locked, and I found a tape that said that someone named Daniel had voice locked the door. So now I needed to find something samples of her voice at the crew quarters. Yes, it. While on my way there, I found a glue gun. This thing will be very important later. Now I was in the crew quarters. And there were Typhon everywhere, but luckily I found a little hide space to hide in, and got the power working again. But then a mimic made its way in and I took care of it easy. Not checking if they were gone. Nope, not yet. And then the Phantom sent me a gift. How thoughtful of him. And so as a token of my gratitude, I sent him a grenade. Then a guy on the speaker said, There's no more food left. The Typhon have killed everything and everyone. Get rid of these things, then we can talk. Skillet, shut up. I went off to do that, but immediately ran into an issue. I couldn't barely hurt the telepath, and so I went back to the Abreedum, hoping that I could find something to hurt that thing. And then I found a shotgun, and my mood immediately changed. The hunter had become the hunted. I was very surprised, because, like, how could you be scared of rabbits? I retract my statement. Then I found a taser. Then I got the first tape recording and finished off that telepath. Then I met the guy on the speaker, who was hiding in the kitchen, and he asked me to find his award for him in his room. This part was very long, so to summarize it, I... Found another voice clip, found his award, learned that I needed to fix the pipe in the sink for him to make food, learned to never play the Neuromod song, then went back with a turn in wrecked house. Spent nine years, but finally got enough Neuromods to fix this- <laughs> This is a funny predicament I've gotten myself into. Ran to the kitchen and waited for him to leave, then got the Neuromods to fix the sink. Only for me to watch the recording to find out that I could have gotten an item that he- told me to get since the beginning of the quest. Went into the freezer where he of course locked me in and froze me, where I used my vast intellect to use fire to melt the ice. Then spent the rest of the time trying to find the recordings to unlock Deep Storm, which took a bit longer than I would have liked. Hello? Hey, Jack? Where did you put the card of that weirdo? It should be in the box I put it in. Uh, it's not there anymore. I'll call you back. Uh, right then. Uh, where was I? I went into deep storage and almost immediately died. One super funny death montage later, I finally escaped deep storage and I went to a pod to escape this hellish nightmare place. And I got the recipe to make Morgan's arming key. Now I need to make it and find Alex's. Then something went kaboom and I got hit in the face and fell unconscious. Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Oh, that sucked. I'd imagine, but you know, I'm a robot. 
but yeah. I escaped the pod and got a call from someone named Sarah Elzar. She told me there was a way to get back inside through the cargo bay, but then I got a call from someone who was trapped in a container. I figured entering the code would help him, and it worked. It helped him go to heaven. Then I docked a container to the station and went into the cargo bay. Then I found another person who was alive, and he told me to get up to the catwalk to get inside. But the power was off, so I went to turn it back on. After 1v1ing a fandom for real, not clickbait, I got the power back on and did a little parkour. Then I met Sarah in person. She told me the only way to get back in was through Cargo Bay B. She had the code, but she wanted me to help fend off these things, then she would give it to me. I needed to find the turret fabrication plan to make turrets to be able to fight them all. She gave me a code to open a safe that had it. I found it, but there was a weaver there. This was the thing that was turning people into phantoms. But with my rage, I beat it and got the fabrication plan. Now I could fabricate turrets. But more importantly, I got Morgan's arming key. Alright, all the turrets are built. Good. Now time to get rid of these things. <laughs> I entered the codes that is Morbin time and ran in there with my wrench with my chaos control. And I've beaten all the Typhon by myself, not requiring 12 people plus 3 gutter turrets in order to beat it. Now that that was over, a technopath had run to the left, but I had made nothing of it. So I went in the opposite direction of that thing, and then saw that the door wouldn't open. Side note, I thought that an operator drone got stuck in the wall somehow. After using my brain to read the text, I realized that I would have to kill that technopath to progress. This would be my hardest battle yet. I would have to use my full- Then I went into the power plant. Sorry. I deserve that. In this next area, there was like 12 different Typhons, so all I could do was just hide in the vents. I went to a corner, quick save, and devised a brilliant plan to kill these Typhon. I would use Guerrilla Warfare by taking advantage of the vents around me, and I used the Gunner Turrets to distract them while I hit them from behind. And with the Voltic Phantom dead, there was one last Phantom. He got a good hit on me, but I got a better one. What was I supposed to be doing again? Oh yeah, find the keycard because the door's locked. Get back down now. Two hours later. Remember when I said the elevator was broken? Well, there's a way to fix it, but I have to do a system reboot for the entire station by turning it off and on again. Then I got the lamest jump scare of all time. So lame, in fact, that I jumped off of a balcony and leveraged a plate to get into the reactor chamber. I pressed the safety buttons that initiated the reboot. But as everything went back online, one of the reactor's plates broke. So I went and got another piece. But then two bad things happened. One, there were two technopaths shulking about. Two, the stairs broke during the reboot, so I had to take the lift. Two and a half, the lift broke. So I used my glue gun to make my way up there, and I got very irritated, so please ignore my scream. It was long, and it was tedious, but it worked. Then the coolant chamber started leaking gas, so using my guns would be a death wish. Look at my main weapon's wrench, now that I was out of there, I could use the elevator. The coral I mentioned earlier was spreading fast. And then the nightmare appeared. Now, I have three options. I can 1. Go back and wait for him to leave. 2. Run past him. 3. Fight him with my wrench. And I think we all knew what I did. Yep, I ran past him. I'm not fighting something that does this to my health. And so I ran like a headless chicken to the cargo bay, where I needed to go to the top of the station in space and get back to the Arena. When I got there, Alex was basically done trying to stop me, so he gave me the code to his grav shaft. Then I went into his office and he told me to play a video. I played the video and they started talking about something that killed the Typhon without blowing the entire station up. Now I felt kind of awkward. Then he told me to scan the coral, then he would give me the arming key. And so I went off to do that. Then I got a call from January on that video. I don't know what to say. You know what I want to do, but I'm not sure about you. But it's your choice on what to do. After scanning the coral, I- w Do you hear voices? Cause I have normal pills, just, just so you know. Why do you ask? You've just been doing this thing where you just narrate. Oh, I'm a YouTuber. No, yeah, no, I'm right. You are schizophrenic. All right, lightning round because the recording decided to become a slideshow. Three, two, one, go. The time became very mad at the sight of me destroying their coral. Then, as I was getting the Norway plan, some guy named Dahl was like, "That's very cringe," and turned the entire security system against me. Then I spent the rest of the recording trying to escape, only for my game to crash at the very end. Now that that's over, I need to get to the shuttle bay and I went back to the gun, and Dahl wanted to help me get down faster, by turning the gravity off and on again. I also found a laser gun that shot for what I could see radiation, and then I just barely avoided these kamikaze type and it made my way to the shuttle bay, where I was compared to a rat skaven, yes yes. Then I tried to laser a drone, but his laser was far superior to mine. Then I made my way to Dahl's command shuttle. Now, I need to find a clue of where the guy's office was, so I decided to pull a funny prank on this drone. Anyways, then I found a playback tape that straight up tells me that it's in the hardware lab, and this douchebag decides to cut off oxygen in the cargo bay. Now I I have to find the office fast. But first, I need to get some shotgun ammo.
Now to save them. After becoming the Doom Guy, I found a drone screwing around with the oxygen and took it out. Now I needed to go back to the Abrita. And this time I could finally take the elevator. And then it stopped halfway through. Yo, what's up? I made it to the Abritum and all hell broke loose. The nightmare was there and Doll was trying to kill Alex. I made it there and threw my sick to last recycler grenade at him. <laughs> now that Doll was dead, me and Alex could talk face to face for the first time. And the only thing I showed him was my ADHD. He gave me the no way plan. But then, some kind of black ore with a sinister presence appeared. And then a giant worm like Typhon popped out of the portal. And it looked very, very dangerous. It was only then that I realized that it was an arm of the Apex Typhon. The sight was a lot to take in, and it knocked out Alex. So I took his arming key and put the guy in his bunker. Jack, you need to blow up the station. But there's another way. Yeah, that was before the Typhon the size of a skyscraper came. You know what? That is a very good point. I went back to the power plant to use the arming keys. I went to the blow the whole station up room and use the arming keys. I went back up but the stairs were still broken, so I would have to use my glue gun. But luckily I had enough spare parts to fix it. And then I went to the self-destruct terminal. January was there and he was roughed up. I can't activate the thing. Both my hands got destroyed while trying to get here. You'll have to do it, so go ahead and do it. I looked at the screen in front of me and decided that a few lives weren't worth an entire planet. You did the right Thing. Wait, I'm picking something up. <sighs> All right, let's get this over. With. Lucky thing I sent my spawn before I did that.